Bottom of the fifth inning, 1-1 ball game. Cougars and Brahmas, a reminder that you are watching a baseball game that is 100% student produced in high definition. Shimmering high definition, in fact, with Nicely students and done. volunteers. Thank you. They did do a very fine job. It was from Quest Broadcast Communications, you can start your radio high definition television and film career at Quest College. Don't forget to subscribe to our HD TV channel. Just search YouTube for Quest HD TV. So not only is it on your cable, it is on anything that's got YouTube, which and that's going to be pretty much anything mobile or wired. Wow, I could watch it on my iPhone here for us. Absolutely, you can uh, bask in uh, the fine Questa moments, uh, sporting and otherwise, immortalized on Questa HD TV. Much of the happiness of Bob Mariucci, our wonderful athletic director. Absolutely. Bottom of the order, Andrew Montanari, the third baseman, followed by the top of the order with Murillo and Herding. And the Cougars, a run on four hits, one error. Brahma's a run on two hits, no errors. Both runs coming in the first inning. This game is booking along. In the bottom of five. Montanari looks at the 0-1 low, 1-1. One one. First time around, grounded out to second base. What was unofficially the Cologne inning, where he was Columbus. part of every single out. No. Well, that's true. Well, Cologne at second base. Did Columbus play second? <laughs> I don't know. But I don't think so. That's Italian for Columbus. Or Spanish for Chopper, it. and guess who? It's uh, Cologne trying to backhand it. Couldn't get it clean. We still picked it up, threw it, and not in time. So Montanari will be safe. Now, on the other hand, I have been to see baseball in the city of Columbus. How the, do you? The Clippers, the uh, Yankees. Affiliate, at least they were at the time when I was living in Ohio. Where is Columbus? Is it's dead center. Dead center. How far is it from Akron? I'm not sure. I haven't been there directly, but I have been to Akron. I've been to the Rubber Bowl, right oh, next to right? where they do the uh, soapbox derby. Are they still doing rubber in, in Akron? Now used I don't to know be if they are. Well, they actually uh, University of Akron got a new stadium, so they don't play in the Rubber Bowl anymore. It was the rubber capital of America, like uh, Pittsburgh, the steel capital. Absolutely. For years and years. Murillo singled and scored the Cougar run singular in the first inning. Also grounded out to second in the third here with over at first base. Montanari on what was scored a base hit. Here's where you might want to play some small ball and just manufacture a run because the way Andrew's pitching, I mean, that run could stand up, huh, Randy? I think so. And again, you get this chance you got a leadoff man aboard. They have a chance to make something happen here and an out or two to play with. Throw back to first. Not that it's really played a part. Breeze uh, kind of coming and going. Not real strong, but again, part of that is, you know, usually comes, as you mentioned, later in the game, but this has been a pretty fast-moving game. Right. Yeah, pretty much no factor at all. 1-0. Mario shows bunt. 2-0. Rio in that leadoff spot, also somebody who's been racking up the walks. He's got 18 this year, which would seem like a lot if you weren't on the same team as Zach Dominguez. Did you <laughs> did you mention that we're tied with Santa Barbara Mentura for first? I think you did. We did, but let's say it again. 2-0 bunt pushed on over, and everybody and could be safe here. Cologne's going to try and just get rid of as quickly as he can, but it re results in an errant throw. So that's going to be an extra base for the Cougars, and things are setting up nicely. As Anthony was talking about, now Antonari is going to go all the way over to third. A throwing error that's uh, going to allow uh, Murillo to not only get aboard but uh, go over to second base. And with two on in scoring position, still nobody out coming into the heart of the lineup. you got uh, Hurting in the number two spot. He's flying out to right field twice. So base hit and then second on the throw, which also allows Montanari to advance. So Maria will board for the second time today. And this is the opportunity that the, I think the Cougars have been working towards. Two in scoring position, no force. Steve's got some Nobody power, out. too, to the gaps. Showed bunt for a second as Montanari came down the line. Ball one. But it is a first-place tie, as you mentioned, with Santa Barbara and Ventura and the other three teams, which would be uh, Pierce, um, Oxnard, and Hancock, all at 5-8. Uh, and eight. 
Cougars jockeying for playoff position at this point. 1-0 pitch is a little bit low, 2-0. Hancock was doing well for a while, but they've cooled off. Two zero, taking high three and zero, and Santa Barbara again. Uh, mentioned they're the only team in the league right now that is ranked, and you know they had a, a nice um, renaissance under Teddy Worker, who went on to become Larry Lee's number one assistant at uh, Cal Poly. But uh, well, for things have been working out nice though for the Vaqueros still. The Vaqueros had a good program in the '70s when uh, Rusty Fairley was their coach. He became a city councilman, and then for years fell on hard times. Yeah, three zero pitch is not close, so force is on. And things are loaded up, hurting over to first base, and we go to Zach Dominguez, base hit last time, also walked on four, and again, this is the state's walk leader as coach John Bouchard from Pierce going to come out and take a mound visit, buy a little time as we start seeing a little action. Left-hander starting to get loose uh, for the Brahmas down in the pen as that would be Dan Gallenlock. And they'll discuss uh, the situation here again. Uh, bases loaded, nobody out, tie ball game bottom of the fifth inning. And after the umpire buys them a little bit more time, the meeting will disperse and Zach Dominguez to the plate. Okay, here's that opportunity again. We have the bases loaded, nobody out. Get some cr a crooked number on the scoreboard. Zach Dominguez hitting 295 coming in. Again, base hit last time. Also a walk. Well, another walk would get an RBI. It would. And the lead. All runs count the same. They sure do. Shower. Kick. Fires it. Got the corner. Strike one. We're talking about Santa Barbara, and then they fell on some hard times for 20 years. They didn't have a, a record over 500. And now recently they've really... Had some good teams down there. The last uh, eight eight years or so, they've been very good. 0-1 oh, pitch. This one is sent sky high coming in right field is Murphy. He's making the call. He'll get it. And much too shallow to tag. So in that case, it's just a wasted out for the Cougars. Uh, Dominguez just got a little too much under it. And now it falls to Parker Hindle who has been hit by a pitch and grounded to short. Bat, number 21, Parker Parker's been very hot. Hindle. And if anyone could drive in some runs, it's going to be Hindle. Is that Teddy Walker now uh, at Cal Poly? That's right. Yeah. His dad was the coach at San Diego High School for 40 years, a real institution in California high school athletics. Freddie War Fred Walker. So Andrew Montanari is at third, Marco Murillo at second, Steve Herding at first. And the first pitch ripped back right towards us by Hindle. Strike one. 1-1 one, one ball game, bottom of the fifth. Santa Barbara connection again, and Parker thinking about uh, transferring to UC Santa Barbara. I have a feeling you uh, suggested to him that that uh, might I, be a good idea. I, 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 from personal have, experience, of I course. may have mentioned it once or twice. 0-1, oh, breaking ball outside 1-1. One one. Again, uh, the schools in Santa Barbara, much like the ones in San Luis Obispo, desirable places. Yeah, oh, sure. There's some great high schools down there, San Marcos and Dos Pueblos and Carpinteria. Bishop Diego. Shower, 1-1, one, one, and this one is given like a this. good ride by Hindle into the gap in left center. That's going to drop for extra bases, and that means multiple runs as Montanaria comes along to score. Following him is Murillo, and in quick succession, you've got Steve Herding, and that is a bases-clearing double for Parker Hindle, and he has blown the game open as the Cougars now in the bottom of the fifth lead 4-1. to one. What did we just say? If anyone can do it, Parker Hindle's got the power on the leading batters on the team. Set that one deep into left center gap where they had no chance to get it. Montanari, Murillo, and Herding all score. And there's one out with a runner at second. The Cougars get that cricket number that you're talking about and a chance to add to it with Max Stewart coming up. Parker just clutch this year. Clutch. Stewart with a base hit. Also a fly out to right center. Playing in right field today for the Cougars. 
double from Hindle, the seventh hit for the Cougars. Just two for the Brahmas. Nice with to the see pitching that. from uh, Andrew Nelson to go with the six strikeouts. Nice to see that crooked three, huh? Another base hit in the gap, and there's another run. Big swing and a miss for Stewart. Yeah, Max Stewart, also a first baseman out of Pass Robles High School. One of uh, eight local players in the team. Home of the Bearcats. Absolutely. And a bowling alley, you say? Yes, Wilson Lanes. 0-1 pitch. And he went 0-2. Takes a moment out, and we'll head back in. So Hindle over at second after the bases clearing double. 4-1 game. You know what great major leaguer came out of Sunbury High School? Speaking of uh, War Willie Worker, Teddy Worker, uh, Eddie Matthews. 0-2 oh, popped up and brought down. DeAndrea had a beat on it and pulled it right in. And the pop out. Results in out number two. We move down to Spencer Ruggles now. Base hit last time for him. And also grounded into a 3-6-3 back in the first 19, inning. Spencer Ruggles. Okay, beautiful day. Just, uh, you know, some hints of clouds. Uh, warm, but not too cool and not too warm either. Mid-April. And the curveball for a strike. We don't live here on accident. We, no, we don't. don't. <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> After another brutal blizzard, my mom said to me, we're going to move out to California. Enough of these hard New York winters. I gather you're rather glad she did. I'm glad. Thanks, Mom. She was never wrong. Yes. 1-1 one, one count. Well, the, other, the thing is that uh, I was fortunate enough that Started out here, a few times got to some of those wintry parts of the country, but always came back. Once I came here in 68, I've never left. <laughs> I don't blame you. That's even telling people in Ohio, I said, no, you, you'd like it out here. No, you don't you, want to be telling that. that You want them to stay there. No, no, no. People well, here no that, well, I do it selectively. Yeah, okay. Yeah. One and two count. Two down, runner at second. Three runs across in a 4-1 ball game at the bottom of the fifth. Like surfers don't tell about great surf spots to anyone. Yeah. Keep it secret. Well, it's like you don't tell them about San Luis unless they want to come to Cuesta. Right. Good point. And a lot of people from all over the state do. And they do. One, two pitch, take an I-2-2. Two, two. We, we talk about athletics, but boy, is this a great school academically. Well, just in what I do in um, engaging students and finding out, you know, where they're from is that um, it very is, a, which is unusual, a very statewide community college with a lot of people from the yes, L.A. area, yes. not only the Valley, as you might figure, but right. uh, I get a lot, especially in, you know, computer science uh, out of the Bay Area. Well, the two valleys, the Central Valley and the San Fernando Valley. Right. And the San Inez Valley. That's right. They come up here, too. And then some people will get a different way and look at Silicon Valley. And Long Valley and the Tascadero. There you go. Okay, I think we're running out of valleys now. <laughs> well, as long as, we cover, as long as we cover them all, that's <laughs> okay. important. Death Valley. 2-2. Two, two. Set high. Well, thank goodness for Parker. And moving in, it's going to be the center fielder, Toshjin. So that is all, but all have turned out to be plenty for the Cougars in this inning. As they get three hits, including a huge one from Parker Hindle. Three runs come across. One left on. And also there was an error in the mix. Uh, from the Brahmas as well. So after five full innings of play, the Cougars in command behind uh, great pitching from Andrew Nelson. will be back with the sixth inning after this on Cuesta TV.
This program is produced by Cuesta Broadcasting. Start your radio, TV, and film career at Cuesta College.